If every mechanic could spend some time as an air safety investigator, I believe that those experiences would remain with them for a lifetime and would positively affect their behavior and practice when they, whenever they worked on an aircraft. However, that's not realistically feasible. The good news is that there are other ways for mechanics to learn and learn from others' mistakes. One of the primary ways is from reading NTSB safety alerts. Another good way to learn from others' mistakes is to study accident reports. One accident that I investigated involved the owner's deferral of manufacturer's mandated component changeout, which in this case was a propeller gearbox. That component failed in flight. That resulted in a forced off-airport landing. The injuries that the pilot sustained in that accident rendered him a paraplegic. Another accident that I investigated involved the replacement of both horizontal stabilizers with refurbished units. However, those units were not refurbished in accordance with the manufacturer's design. The installing mechanic did not detect that. Those stabilizers actually remained on the airplane for about a year, and during one flight, they both failed, resulting in fatalities to the two occupants on board. Another maintenance-related accident that I investigated involved the refurbishment of the fuel system in an out-of-production airplane. However, the post-maintenance test flight was an abbreviated test that did not test all configurations. The pilot then took the airplane on an extended cross-country, switched to use the aux tank, which resulted in fuel starvation, engine failure, and a forced landing. There are several key factors that work against reducing maintenance accidents, and I'll mention two of them. The first one is that maintenance technicians are people and people make errors. These can be errors of omission or commission. Another piece of that is the fact that these, there are typically outside pressures, time pressure, lack of resources, things of that nature that contribute to maintenance errors. The second item is that in the general aviation world, there's typically a lack of separation between the persons who do the work and the persons who inspect the work. That's a very important piece. It's a, a fundamental concept to aviation is redundancy. And in the GA world, we don't always see that redundancy on the, on the technician side of it. So the errors are, are not necessarily prevented or caught. It's important that every aviation technician appreciate the significance of his or her work, no matter how routine or mundane the task may be, because getting it done right can prevent accidents and save lives.